Shalom. At some point in history, during celebrating Passover, someone created the four cups of wine in a Passover celebration. And from what I've recently discovered in the last years is they actually created five cups. Five, yes it is, five cups of wine. And they were to remember five promises God gave to Israel recorded in Exodus chapter 6. Well, the second promise that God gave us is, I will deliver you. See, the people of Israel were slaves. Pharaoh would say, okay, get out of here. You can leave. But then he changed their, his mind before they got a chance to go. Well, eventually, after the 10th plague slaying of the firstborn, he let him go. But once again, Pharaoh changed his mind, sent his army after the Jewish people. And all of a sudden, when Israel wound up beside the Red Sea, they hear a sound off in a distance getting louder and louder and louder. Yes, louder and louder. And all of a sudden, finally, they notice it is the army of Egypt coming after them. Well, what's the problem? They got their backs up to the Red Sea and the army of Egypt coming in front. They cry out to God. God says, I delivered you in the past. I will deliver you again today. He parts the Red Sea. Israel safely crosses across the land where the Red Sea was on dry ground. Dry ground, no puddles even left. And then when Egypt gets there and goes in where the water was to pursue the people of Israel and the last Jew safely exits the other side, God closes the waters and Egypt's army discovers, oops, they never learned how to swim in boot camp. Oh no, how could they do that? And sorry, they all drowned in the Red Sea. God delivered Israel from Egypt's army once and for all that day. Listen, God made this promise to the children of Israel thousands of years ago, and this promise holds true for us. And at some point also, someone taught me a very good lesson about this that I really want to share with you. And this is it here. It is easier to take a man out of Egypt than it is to take Egypt out of a man. It's one thing for God to get physically you out of Egypt to get you away from Pharaoh who is harming you, hurting you, and even trying to kill you. But you know, it's not just physical chains that Pharaoh puts upon us. But during our time in Egypt, we developed some faulty thinking, stinking thinking, some wrong beliefs, and uh, we need to get free from those. And so it's easier to get the physical chains off of us than it is to get those faulty belief systems out of here that have taken serious root inside our mind. Thinking about that, it's easier to remove chains from a body than it is to remove chains from a soul and spirit. It's very likely the first step of deliverance is the physical chains off of our body. But due to the trauma of the bondage of the slavery and the faulty belief systems that we've picked up, which we all have along the way, then we need to undergo the second step of deliverance. We need for God to remove the chains from our soul and spirit, the faulty belief systems. And so listen, but God is faithful. He is our deliverer. And so ask God to deliver you from your Pharaoh. And remember, very importantly, it is not, not just solely physical chains, things of your on your body that you need to be delivered from and set free, but you also need to be set free from chains in your soul and spirit, from faulty belief systems and lies of Pharaoh, our enemy, that have been taken root in our mind. Ask the Lord during this season of Passover to deliver you in whatever way you need to be delivered. If you need some encouragement, you've been seeking it, but it hasn't happened yet, send me a message. I'd love to encourage you. Have a great time celebrating Passover and receiving deliverance from God. Shalom.